that she blows. To Jones, the fate of Atlantis. This is not a talky edition. This is um, text only. If you, in case you're wondering. Art's oh, very really nice. I like this style. Jones, how are you going to find that statue in all this junk? We're going to point and click. That's an urn. Some kind of funeral urn. Right, we're looking for a statue. This four grand stuff clicker board, I think it is. It's a gargoyle. It's a medieval gargoyle. Uh, what's over it? Or a good imitation. Uh, there's a chest. Mark still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Right, I can't open stuff yet. This is like the intro, I think. Uh, do we see anything else? Do we see... There's a statue there. Right there. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Masa Maasai warrior. I'm assuming it's not. Um, what do we got? A peculiar statue. Oh, there's a trap. Oh no, he did. <laughs> Game over. Turn it off. All right, we're in the next floor down. There's a big crate. The label says. Unidentified pot. What was that? Pot shards. Pot sherds. Don't know what pot sherds are. Uh, what else we got? Shelves. Let's look on the shelves. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Totem pole. Marcus Fort. Pot latch Indians carved this. It looks more like a movie prop to me. Uh, some more shelves. Looks like text, textiles from the Schmuck collection. <laughs> Damn, there's some big words. Um, rope, gaping hole. Let's take the rope. Oh, we got knocked out again. Good start. Pretty sure you can skip this, but we'll do it. We'll go. We'll go for it. Doing it all. all. Right, we're downstairs. Books on pots. I think I've read them all. Anything else? He's read them all. Some pots. Books. Lots of books. Books on statues. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, he's causing a lot of damage in here. It's our fourth <laughs> drop through the ceiling. Better get that roof checked. Yep. Uh, what we got in here? More statues, cat figurines. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Anything else? There's lots of cats in here. Let's work that way. Coal chute. Looks pretty slippery. He's gonna fall in. He's gotta fall in, right? He's not going in there. I must have missed something else. That book up there. It's a book ready to fall. 
anything else? There's lots of cat figurines. Whoa, that was a real cat. <laughs> and this is full. All right, we're down again. We can't go any any further down. This is this has got to be the bottom floor, the basement. When he wakes up. It's hot. A free sample of bitumen. Uh, we've got some lockers. If it in there? Nope. Middle locker. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. The horn statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Oh, well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor. But I believe we're opening a new chapter in history. My word, Indy. A small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Ha ah! Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you're not... I hope you got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm... Well, it's Fritz! <laughs> he was German. I didn't know. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner. Good Lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does a spy want with a phony statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's phony. I can't place the style. But it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology and there you are in Iceland. Do it! Fuck me. Ian Mill. <laughs> yeah, uh, my first real job. Who's this woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You could say that again. Indy? Could have found you. What if he finds her? We should warn this woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. You dog. <laughs> really? Okay. Welcome in, Emil, by the way. Hope you're having a good weekend. I haven't got an Indiana Jones hat. that Sherlock will have to do. I'm going to tie the flaps up today. <laughs> what, what? 
got its ups and downs mentally, but I'm fine, thankfully. And thank you for asking. How's your weekend been? Not too bad. The kids have been away again. That's why I'm here today. I'm just going to bring the chat up on my phone because it's uh, easier than keep turning my head. Hello there. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. All right, where are we? New York. Madame Sophia tonight. That's who we want to talk to. Um, what else we got? We got a taxi, ticket taker, newspaper. Let's get the talk of the town through the newspaper. It's today's paper. Can I open it? Oh, do you have to open it? Open today, open paper. It doesn't seem to open. Well, it's, a, it's paper. It should open. Look at it's today's paper. No. Oh, well. Phone booth. Let's go talk to the ticket taker. I really, when I saw the game, I got to think of the first jump scare I caused you. Therefore, I felt it was fitting that I used the do it sound. Yeah, it worked as well. <laughs> talk to. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Now, wait. No seats, no standing room, no exceptions, no ticket. Hello there. <laughs> um, okay, so we need a ticket. He's not gonna let us in, is he? Game triggered me, yeah, yeah, he did say that as well. Oh, I added a new command, Emil. Um, just as you wanted. As predicted, it is... Uh, go on, you dickhead. Up you go. Up you go, you <laughs> um, Excuse me, come back next week. Okay, so we need to find a way into here. I'm assuming if I try and go in. Doors are locked, sir. We need to find a back way in. Let's have a look in the phone booth. Maybe be a ticket lying around? Who knows? I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Okay. I don't think there's anything else out the front here, apart from the taxi. It's a marquee. We can look at the marquee here tell us all the shows, I guess. <laughs> Please don't say it as I wanted. I feel spoiled. I hoped you would add it, so thank you. <laughs> it's by popular demand. Um... Okay, imagine the suckers who actually paid to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Oh. <laughs> I'm at home with the dogs today. Got a back door. And some crates. Some crates, you have a look in the crates? Let's look at the crates. It's a crate. Just a box. There's a back door open. It's unlocked. Convenient. Uh-oh. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Um, I'm here with a band. Madame Sophia don't have a band. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? Uh, I'm the fire inspector. What do you take me for, a moron? Wait a minute. What now? Uh, <laughs> I'm here to fix the lights. There's nothing wrong with the lights. Now get lost. Good night. Be have to a word sometimes? Oh, I didn't. You're okay. Um. Okay, so there's nothing here. Moron is a funny word. Morot means carrot in Swedish. <laughs> Very different meanings. You carrot. 
Um, let's go this way. There's a ladder up here. Far escape. That looks like a good, good way up, doesn't it? That way looks blocked. So we can push... Push the crate. And then we can get on the crate. Wait. What did you move it back in? Push the crate. And I want to walk to crate. No? Can I get up there now? Still looks blocked. Uh, isn't that an insult on the British Isles, you carrot? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you can pretty much make any foot an insult if you if you put you in front of it. <laughs> you plank. You carrot. Yeah, you probably could. Um, so I need to get to the fire escape. He says it's blocked. There's another crate there, so push that one. Oh, there we go. Still blocked. Looks like it might lead backstage, but it looks blocked. That won't go any further that way. You muffin. Can I pull the crate? No. Uh, push the crate then. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be pushing. This is quite hard to decipher. That one? Let's try pushing that one. No, I don't want to do that one. I can't tell what is blocking my way from the perspective. There's one over here. What's this one do? There we go, we made it. Hey, you must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. We can't just walk on stage. Guess we've got to do something with these uh, old levers over here. Let's do a save game, by the way. There we go. Should have one now. Yeah, just making sure it works. Cool, cool. Hold on. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis, as it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technology, 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 something advanced. I, can't say, I couldn't say the word. Beyond our wildest dreams, 5,000 years ago, while everyone still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. You should see something. She'll go on for hours. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's cool. Hey, she's just coming to the exciting part. This isn't a talky edition, so we have to talk. What befell the serene city, we may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it appeared, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Hey, thank you for the follow. Marky? Yeah. Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts. The all-seeing Mur'Absal is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. This woman never stops. <laughs> um, 
modern the Vita, modern the Vita TV is actually playing on Pizer and Dreamcast since I'm finalizing the PS TV. Oh, right, I didn't know you could mod that. Sweet, I had one back, one of those back in the day. I think I eBayed it. Nice though. To get, is it is it useful? Like, what are you using it for exactly? Just streaming from Pies, I guess. Pretty cool. I just making sure I don't miss anything in the chat because I've kind of had to turn my head between screens here. But yeah, we only just play. We only started. We're, we're about fifteen minutes in, so we've done the little intro mission, and we're trying to speak to this lady who we went to Iceland with back in the day uh, because her life is in danger because some German guy just tried to. Well, he, he stole a statue from us, uh, and he might be going after her. Um, we've got some levers. This, he's not going to let me go near the levers, is he? What have I got? I've got a book and a paper. I mean, I can give him a book. Maybe he'll bugger off to read it. Let's, let's try giving him a book. His paper. There you go. Excuse me. Yes, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Um, isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Uh, don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. How'd you like, oh, how'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Nice, that worked. I can't believe that worked. Uh, you can play all the whitelisted games, but there's honestly a ton of stuff to do, and the homebrew community is super active. I was playing Doom 64X in that clip as well, of well over 50, 150 FPS. Nice, I didn't even know there was a modern community behind that. Like, I got rid of mine back in the day. I didn't really use it very much. I, I bought it because I wanted to play... Um, I was basically streaming from like downstairs to upstairs in the bedroom but it was really um low fps so it was really quite unplayable for most games okay i'm gonna mess with these lights let's do the left lever it's a lever i'm gonna pull the lever it won't go any further in that direction i'm gonna push it then I need to shut the curtain i think that played music <laughs> uh, but I've implemented overclocking, downscaling, and performance overlays. You should stop by when I'm playing next. Isn't it? Yeah, I will. Sounds cool. I hope it doesn't. I hope it's not that cool that I need to get another one though, because <laughs> I got rid of mine. Um, right, that put on that that put on the music. So let's push the second lever. That just turned it off again. All right, let's push the third lever. Oh, that's the wrong one. Right lever. Is it music as well? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. We just need to find the correct combination. Let's pull the middle one again. It's green now. What did that do? I don't actually know what that did. Um, I'll be back on in a couple of hours. Oh, cool. Sweet. Uh, and do you have a Vita? Yeah, I have a Vita. I have a couple of Vitas. You could mod that too. There's an, even a plug-in for USB out. Oh, the ca display capture. Nice. Yeah, I do have a, I do have a Vita. I don't really use them that much. I, I used it briefly um, before I got like my emulation handheld. Uh, nice hardware. Hold on. I've still got my eye on you. Oh, he's not letting me go on the stage. I see. I see. So what have I done here with these levers then? So I made them go green. There's a button. Oh, there's, there's a button. Let's push the button. Ooh, what does this button do? Oh, it's a ghost. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis, though. Uh, through. Uh? My present Nur Absal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit! Deceit! Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, 
<laughs> it's on fire. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Not sure how that worked. Well, that works, but yeah. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh no. Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here? Or here either? There he is. Hans. Oh, is it Hans or Fritz? It's one of the two. <laughs> Herbert, good news! I can't do German. Cable Garden Urbanen is in Berlin. Inform him that she. I have the samples we spoke of. I need to practice my German accent. <laughs> That's the second time Kern has slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief Scientist Dr. Hans Ubermann announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Um, what type of mouse do you use? Did you get a cherry mouse too? No, I've got nothing fancy. I've just got a really basic... Um, they're off Amazon. They're called Perimax. And I don't know if you can see... You probably can look on the little camera. It's not very big though. I can pull it out. It's just a basic... Uh, PS2 mouse, um, optical PS2 mouse off Amazon. They're like twenty pounds, but they come in beige and black, so it looked ideal. Yeah, I, I don't use fancy stuff for the old PC. I've just got like um, this is pretty cool. I got this on uh, on eBay, new old stock. I can't pull it out. It's, it's stuck. You can look on the other camera. It's 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 not very big. Um, it's an old compact compact keyboard. It's got like <laughs> hotkeys along the top and stuff. It is new old stock and they were cheap as well, like 20 quid in beige to match. More white than, but yeah, yeah, you're right, it's kind of a white, but it kind of goes better with the keyboard, which is kind of a beige, it's off white. Um, the mouse I use is not fancy, name brand, but not fancy. No, there's no point. I, I work, I don't work on Windows, I work on a Mac, so I, I just use a trackpad. Uh, so I didn't think there's any point getting a decent. Fancy one for this old thing. Uh, right. Come on, a few atoms won't even light a match. Of course not. That's why they are looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Um, what should we, what should we accuse her of doing? Yet you never published a word about your finds. Artifacts and such as archaeology has never seen. Humph. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings on my desk. That's what came out of the statue. What do you know? Kerna missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of orichalum. The mystery medal third, first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Ooh, Kerna took um, Indy's statue and it had a little bead in. Did you see that? Yeah. Creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nur Absal. His spirit is close. Uh, from here it looked like mine. What's that peak? 
Oh, okay, I didn't. Oh, oh, that's quite nice. Is that Peter? Is that a, a trackball or is that optical? Oh, it's USB. It's more from the from the first look at it. I was like, oh, is that a, like a retro mouse? <laughs> I'm not going back to track. Not going back to trackball, and things get dirty too quickly. Optical or laser? Oh, okay, looks very nice. <laughs> the electric bill, though. Closer than, um, what should we say? Oh, yeah. Don't try your psychic act on me. Suppose I gave this auriculum business any concern, which I don't. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nur Absal speaks. He bids us find the... what? A book. Yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes. Near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall. <laughs> Maybe we should pay him a visit. <laughs> what do you say? I thought you'd never ask. I forgot how to pronounce Bjorn. Bjorn. I don't know. <laughs> Icelandic names. As a PS2 adapter. Oh yeah, I saw that in the screenshots. This one doesn't. This is his PS2. All right, we got to Iceland pretty quick. We've got an old dig site. We've got an encampment. Uh, what else we got? Our truck and the Icelandic mountains in the background. Very nice. Very peaceful. Uh, let's walk to the encampment and have a look around. Any signs of anyone being here recently? It's supposed to be an active dig site. It looks like someone's still living here. Can we open the encamp note? Can we use the encampment? No, there's nothing there. What's this table? Nothing there. Let's go in, let's just go in the cave. Let's go in the cave. Walk to the old dig site. Is uh Bajorn. I don't think that's how you say it. I don't know. <laughs> Bajorn Heimdall. Shit, what's the Icelandic accent? No, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm just going to have to talk normally for this one. <laughs> Pardon me. Dottina Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia. He's, he's British. This is my dig site now. Go away. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously now I'm not. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hy Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You read how they sailed north to fog shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were repelled by ghosts. Poppycock! You know what actually stopped them, Jones? Um, oh my word, I know I'm somewhere else. The sound decimals went up a bit. What? What happened? <laughs> um, maybe they didn't add a lot of time on an itinerary. I don't know, but maybe so. There we go. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. They were stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Um, that's a fascinating. That's fascinating, Doctor. The sound decibels went up. Did it go loud? Is it gone dodgy? 
Yeah, sounds all right. <laughs> Welcome, by the way, Sion. Um, have you heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumours about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Go Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. Um... Oh, I, I see what you mean. You, you came in with a raid. <laughs> I'm obviously louder than uh, Uber. <laughs> um, what was that about the lost dialogue? Talk to Sternhart and Costa. So you completely discount the supernatural. Completely. If it's supernatural you want, talk to Sternhart and Costa. This guy is like, it's aliens. Aliens did it. What's this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here. Um, it's probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Well, so long. Goodbye. Don't come back. <laughs> How wooed. The Uber channel is a bit lower in sound. My ears can tell. <laughs> Sorry. I did my audio levels yesterday. I, I bumped it up because I speak quite quietly. So I had to um, tweak everything to make it a bit louder. But yeah. Okay. So I think we've gone somewhere else now. Let's talk to Sophia. Listen. Yes. I think the good doctor's got frost, frost, frostbite of the brain. I'll say. Spaceport, my eye. What do we do now? Let's find Custer and Sternhart. Let's look around. Okay. So over here we've got nothing on these tables. Um, there's nothing in the encampment. Trucks obviously ours. I didn't see anything in the old dig site. I will have no look actually. He probably does to go away. Let's have a little look, little mouse around. Oh, we can look at the ob ice obscured object. Let's have a look at it. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. I don't think we've got anything that'll help us here. Okay, we'll go. Let's go back to the, the truck, I guess. Walk to the truck. Hey, thanks for the follow, Sam. Appreciate it. Okay, we've got some choices now. We're in Iceland now. We've been to New York. That's where we picked up um, Sophia. We can go to Tikal or the Azores Islands to talk to Sternhart and what was the other guy's name? Sternhart and Costa, that's right. Let's go to the Azores, it's closer. Funny it was this easy to travel. <laughs> Lovely island. I'm supposed to be unknown. <laughs> Good point. This is it. Uh, so we've got car in the distance, this island, Sophia's here. I guess we're just gonna knock. Can we knock? Or do we have to be rude and just open the door? Let's just open the door. Oh, we knocked anyway. Mr. Costa, keep your shirt on. Oh, he's going to be like Spanish or something, isn't he? Don't think I do Spanish accents either. Oh, he's old. I'll, I'll make him sound old and creepy. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. 
Um, yeah, everyone's gonna have British accents. I can't. I can't. I'm very uh, <laughs> good at accents. Um, what want? What what becomes Kiki? Okay, we can do that. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so. Maybe no. Who are you, Kiki? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you, so bugger off! Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> Let's go in Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Um, I guess we'll just bother him some more, right? Or we can ask Sophia to knock on the door. Sophia. Yes? Here, you talk to this man. My pleasure. Uh, do I tell her to do it? Do I have to go up to it? I don't know. This is, oh, I'm controlling her now. Knock, knock. Mr. Custer. Pipe down, I'm coming. He's a touchy old bird. What you learn, Dr. Jones? Well, hello, beautiful. It's like Master Roshi. Um, Professor Costa? My name is Sophia Havgood. Madame Sophia, the renowned psychic. Mm. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. Oh, he's a friend of yours. Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. Uh, Emil, the way they move their mouths reminds me of another game. Com Kurandia? Maybe they're both made by the same developer. Is that LucasArts games? This is LucasArts. I think they make their games in-house. I think they were a studio. LucasArts behind Monkey Island, uh, Day of the Tentacle. Um, shit, I could probably think of more if I wasn't on the spot. <laughs> Suffice it to say they've done a lot of point-and-click adventures and they're all really good. Uh, we need some help from you. Happy to oblige, my lady. Um, what can you tell us about Plato's last dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well, now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact. Such as a certain necklace. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well, then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. <laughs> Eyes up here, old man. Um, would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thank you for help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Oh. <laughs> Interesting character. Trade, huh? If not necklace, then what, I wonder? Um, developer Westwood Studio, publisher Version Games, apparently, for The Legend of Kurandia. Okay, Westwood Studio, what do they do? Westwood sounds familiar. They did do Command and Conquer, did they? Was it Westwood? Damn, I can't remember. Don't know about point and clicks, though. Definitely played a game by Westwood, I just can't think what it is off the top of my head. Uh, okay, so he wants to trade something for his, well, knowledge of where the book is. It's not very helpful, is it? Oh, don't, don't knock on the door. I want to talk to uh, Indy again. <laughs> I'm going to kick her out of the office. Noisy. <laughs>
Not even anyone there. Why are they barking at? We want now they want. They're just barking at people at the front. I can hear them. <laughs> um, right. Follow me, Indy, or I think about take over. Well, I don't think there's anything else here. He wants to trade something, but there's um. Okay, unless we hand over the necklace, which we're not going to do. I don't think we can do anything, so I'll let him take over. And then we'll go probably to the other island, the other place. We've only got archaeology books and the whip at the moment. Um, and a car. Just mousing around. Not seeing anything else. I mean, I guess I could try and talk to him a little bit more with Indy and see what happens. Mr. Caster. You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? <laughs> I'm offering a rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. You keep it. Got anything else? I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance! What good is a whip in this day and age? Come back when you've got something worth my while. Grumpy old codger. Uh, okay. So all we've got is a necklace. I'm not thinking she's going to trade the necklace. I mean, I could try, but that doesn't seem like something she'll do. I'll do it anyway, because we're here. But it seems important for the plot, so I don't think she's going to give it away. Why, hello! He likes her. Um, hello yourself, cootie. I've given you all the help I can. Unless you have something to trade. Don't be a stranger now. Alright, she's not going to trade it. So we need to go. We'll go to the car. We'll go to the other island, I think. Come on, let's go. So we will go to... Well, I guess we could go to New York to get an artifact, because there is the museum there. Um, but we'll go to Tikal first and see what's... Uh, Going down there, speak to Sher. Was it Sher Sherwood or Sher something? Sh Shershank. I'm making that up. I don't know what his name was. <laughs> I have a short memory span. Uh, so we've got the jungle. Let's walk to the entrance of the jungle. Shershank Redemption. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sounds right. Or Shershank. Walk to Dark Jungle Path. Oh, it's one of those. We've played games like this, but in fact, I think it was Monkey Island where you'd like walk in the direction and you come out somewhere else until you know the way. Yeah, it's to keep looping this around because we don't know the way. We don't have a map. And we found we found the right one. What? Got a tree, got a giant anaconda. You don't want none unless you've got buns, though. I'm not getting any closer to that snake. And he doesn't like snakes, does he? He's afraid of snakes. Um, I think I think we can have the whip to swing across, right? That's what you do. You can talk to the parrot. I can't talk to that bird from here. Okay, we can talk to it, though. Just not yet. Uh, is it, can we, the tree's there. Let's try using the whip. So we use the whip on the tree. Snake's in the way, we can't do it. Cool ship, as Stewie would have said. Schwip. <laughs> Schwip. Uh, I don't think anacondas are afraid of whips. I'll try try whipping anyway. Uh, so use whip with the giant anaconda. That doesn't sound like a good idea, but he's going to do it anyway. It doesn't seem to work. No shit. 
I guess you could chuck the whip on the floor and the snake might think it's another snake and try and mate with it to distract it. it doesn't, they're not going to let me do that. Um, I don't see anything else. He won't jump across. Yeah, we've got to get rid of the snake and all I've got is this magazine and a whip. So we can't do it. So I think this island's a bust. We wasted our time flying here. If there's anything in here, got a jungle rodent. What's that? It didn't look like a rodent. It's huge. Oh, it's one of those. Uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, they're like in the same family as guinea pigs. Uh, what am I thinking of? Looks like a jungle rodent. It's not a scientific name, is it? No, I can't remember what they're called. Um, <laughs> Let's see if Sophia has any insight. Listen. Yes? Looks like it's the end of the road. It's got to be a way through. Yeah, there was. There's a snake, though. Um, what do we do now? We probably should find Sternheart, but I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The whip didn't work. I'll try again. All there was was the rodent in the jungle, which didn't really do anything. And then here we've got the tree and the snake. And I don't think we can do anything with the snake. I mean, I can I can give him a National Archaeology book. <laughs> okay, he's not going to get close. All right, I don't know what to do. It seems like we've got the rodent closer to the snake. The snake might go after the rodent. Can I pick up the rodent? It's too fast for me. Can we whip the rodent? This this is really mean. I could do it anyway. Crit is too far away. Well, yeah, get closer to him, and you fool. All right, use whip. Jungle rodent. Oh, felt that. Rodent in the jungle sounds like a horror movie. Oh, I feel sorry for the little guy. You didn't pick him up, though. Oh, we need to... Ah, okay. We're going to whip him in the direction of the snake. Oh, this is this is animal cruelty. I'm, I'm really sorry. Anything? Anything? Has the game crashed? Uh, are you abusing the poor animal? Well, I was trying to. It looks like the game doesn't like it. Oh, it did, it did crash. That's annoying. A few moments later. Okay, Koki, right, we'll do a save point here. Alright, back into the jungle, and I could just smack that rodent right now because I know what I'm doing. So use whip on the jungle rodent. Whoosh. He ran away. He didn't go in the right hole. Let's whip him again. Use whip the jungle rodent. Whoosh. Snakey boy is going to eat him. Oh, he did. They're both dead. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones was responsible for the deaths of two animals. Good old Mother Nature. Oh no. Harsh. 
But we're here now, and we can get across using, I guess, the whip on the tree. Making good use of the whip. Don't think it'll work? Oh, okay. It's pretty flexible, though. We can uh, push it. Can't move it. He said it was flexible. What about pulling it? Can't move it. What about... It looks pretty flexible. Hmm. Use it. Just use it. Will he climb it? He will. Nice. We're across. Wow. Some bridge. Hi, Indy. Oh, how'd you get here? Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Let's look around. Okay. Let's talk to this parrot. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Echo. Echo! What's <laughs> that? Tip a canoe. Tip a canoe. And Tyler too! Is there anything else? No. Bye bye, birdie. Bye bye, birdie. Fuck. Uh, okay. Got a trinket store here. With a kerosene lamp. I'm going to take that. Let's take that. Let's take the kerosene lamp. Pick it up. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? What, what? Postcards? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? No thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhart, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. I at cannot your believe it. <laughs> What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I say, I'm the one who translated it. I can tell you that. I'm I'm worried you were here to steal my last copy. But someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh, no. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week. A tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs. But he only wanted the last dialogue. Lost dialogue, not last. Mr. Smith, the most generic English name of all time, indeed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. John Smith, 1882. Um, what can you tell us about the temple? Glad you are, skull boy. The locals claim Maine Indians built it. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages? Or does it seem much too civilized? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Signs of the name of your, one of your states. Or possibly a cat. Actually, it's the name of a dog. Sophia. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof. Now that's hard. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumours die hard. What kind of rumours? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. 
Do you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. What, what? I really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh, shit. Do we know this? It's either the Pallades, the Achneid, or the Socrates. Hmm. Hmm. This fake. Socrates was that Greek astrologer, right? It's not that. Pallades is a constellation, but I don't know if that's also something else. Uh, Acne. Actually, that's probably a constellation as well. Fuck, it's one of these two. It's got to be. Let's try. Let's try. Pallades. The Pallades. Pallades, fuck! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Damn it. Socrates is the Greek philosopher. I was close. <laughs> we were wrong. I bet that parrot knows the answer. Uh, me and you? And Tyler too! Um, Polly want a cracker. No, he doesn't know the answer. Damn it. Can we use the National Archaeology on the parrot? You can have a read of it. No, he's not interested. <laughs> he won't let me take the kerosene lamp. But if I take it, it'll come back out to see me again. Oh, bum. <laughs> There's a path around the jungle along. That's funny. <laughs> we went through the middle. Um, let's have a look. I don't think we're going to be able to help until we find the book. Because I don't think any of them answers were right. I think they were all fake answers. Let's get them out. Let's try them all. I think they're all fake answers, though. Worth a little try. So I really want to explore the temple. He's going to ask us the question. I will try it, that one this time. Too bad, old bloke. It's not the answer. No, they're all going to be the wrong answers. I will try the last one just in case, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to be long, the wrong answers until we get the, the book from the uh, other guy. So let's take the lamp again. We're gonna need the we're gonna need the kerosene lamp to melt the ice to get the trinkets. So no, this this has to be done first. I can already see where this is going. That's my prediction anyway. By the way, is that can't let you have that. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something to the lamp to melt the ice to help the other guy. Unless you unless he's already got it out of the ice. I don't know. So we'll try the last answer, which was the one I thought it definitely... Oh, wait, they changed. Oh, no. So then we've got Gluteus Maximus, which is the butt. Um, we tried... Did we decide... Hippocrates? Hypocrites? They're definitely all wrong, aren't they? Too bad, old bloke. Damn it. Maybe the Costa does know the answer, then. Maybe she knows the answer. Sophia? What do, we do, what do we do now? We could talk to Sternheart again, or we could move on. Alright, I'm going to move on. I'm going to go back to Costa. No, I'm going to go back to Iceland and see if the, the temple... If, see if the things come out of the ice, it's on its own volition. If not, we have to melt it out. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to melt it out. Uh, but we can try it. A few moments later... I was saying Ireland rather than I Ireland. They sound different. All right, we need to melt this out. I'm pretty sure we need to melt this out. He's not gonna let me have it. Good, now say it fast. This is as fast as I can go, that's my limit. Uh, have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book. 
but I've yet to see it. Talk to stomach. Yeah, he's not gonna help us. Call my stomach. In you go, you bastard. Rumbling. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't come back. Go okay, on, head. Up you go. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, back to New York and see if we can do some research on the subject. See if we can find the last the title because if we have the title, we can get access to the temple and possibly get the lantern. If we have the lantern, we can melt the ice to get the artifact, and we have the artifact, we can give it to Costa to get information about the actual book. So I think that's the order it's going to be done in. Foggy Idol. Um, there's nothing on his desk. I mean, we've got some shelves over here. I'm not sure if there's individual items on the shelves or it's just like one big shelf. Nothing here but a few broken pots. Got a window. Can look out the window. I better call a glazier. Glazer. Glazier. What the hell kind of word is that? Glazer. Glazer, glazier? I don't fucking know. Go look at the bulletin board. I'm gonna eat a lunchable. Movie tonight. It says wanted share ride to the world's fair. Some stairs. Let's go this way, see what else is in here. Nina Jones is running across the street in a bad graphic design. You take that back. This this game is really good art. This is good good art. This was made in 1992. Released in 1992. Probably made before then. Early 90s, all the best video games came out. For definite. All right, so we're looking at it. In you go, you bastard! Why are we even here? This isn't what I'm looking for. Dirty rag. The greasy old towel. Let's take it. All right, we have a dirty rag. Is that is that what we flew all the way to New York? For? Just kidding. Good, good, because this is a beautifully illustrated game. They don't make them like this anymore. Like the new, um, I saw, I was quite excited. They're, they're bringing out a new Broken Sword, which is another point and click adventure. I really like the Broken Sword series. It first came out like PS1, PC. Um, but I, I read that they're doing all the graphics with AI. Not sure how I feel about that. Without the human touch. I'll give it a chance. So I do, I do enjoy that series, Broken Sword. It's kind of like, um, yeah, it's like all the others, really. But more like this, because more like archaeological. Archeo is that the, that's not how you say that word. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean. But that kind of thing, like history, fake history, fantasy history. I don't see anything else in here. We got the, the towel, the rag. Maybe that'll come in useful for making a fire, perhaps. Uh, I got Gotham Knights yesterday, not played it yet. Is that the one that got flack for looking really bad compared to like the Arkham games? I've just been playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm possibly going to get Starfield next week, but on uh, only if they've improved Steam Deck compatibility because I'm going to be playing on Steam Deck if I get it. I'm just holding this lunch bomb, not eating it.
So after you who dies, I won't say in case it spoils any in chat. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. All I see in here is a jar. I'm gonna take it. Jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> Dirty old rag. I don't think this is gonna interest Costa in trading. A nice trunk up here. Let's see what's in there. Before they play Rule Britannia. It's close. Alright, Snipes, I got a PS3, 4, and 5 in my room now. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? Let's see what's inside my jar of mayonnaise. There's no lid. It looks like used mutter oil. It says it looks like used mutter oil, because when you have mayonnaise and stuff, it separates into like the oil layer, doesn't it? So there's going to be something about that to make a fire. That and the rag. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a Molotov, but it's going to be mayonnaise. A Mayotov. A Mayotov cocktail. You heard it here, folks. Do you recognise that quote? No. I don't. A film, I take it. It's nice. Why do you need a PS3, 4, and 5? Doesn't PS5 play all the PS4 games? Nice, though. I've got a PS3 in my front room. I haven't played it for a while. I keep that one in the front room for playing stuff if needed. Um, I need to look inside the chest. Nothing useful in here. Ah, oh, sad. Can I take the entire chest? No. I'm not seeing anything else in here. We're definitely going to need that kerosene lamp, for sure. Yeah, nothing about the uh, book. That's why I came here, but mm, it's a bust. So where to go? Hmm. I think there's something to do that to Cal. We've got to answer that question correctly to Cal. Let's go back to Tikal. Uh, it's a Jack Sparrow quote from Dead Man's Quest Chest. A famous meme. Don't think I've seen the meme. I've seen the film. Didn't remember the quote. Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. He's really not going to let me in there, is he? Let's see if the answers have changed again. Is this random words? The parrot repeats it every time. The parrot repeats it. Is it something to do with the parrot? Is the answer something to do with the parrot? 23 skidoo and Tyler too. That's what he says every time. Uh, hmm. 
He said the kerosene lamp wasn't even his, so why is he... Yeah, he comes out every time I try to grab it. You simply must possess a floaty cacao pen. Thanks, just let them look around. Why not? Perhaps I'll just, you'll decide to buy one of my precious mementos. Yeah, I don't want to buy a precious memento. I want to uh, gain access to the uh, temple, please. Okay, she's in the way. I need to talk to the guy. That parrot talks every time we do this dialogue. It's got to be something to do with the parrot. I don't know the title. Title? What? Well, at least you're an honest man. Press on that carrot. Speak to random use Yeah. The parrot just gave me the answer. I had a mouthful of food. I said title to the parrot, and he told me um, something. A friend of Socrates. Shit, what did he say? None of these things. He did say something, though. Was it that one? That's it. Yeah, that's what you said. That's it. Fuck. Well, no, maybe I was wrong. You seem to know mostly what you're doing. What, what? Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Andy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. See what you can do. Alright, let's save a game here. So we've got a animal head. A stone heart there as well in his shorts. Um, spiral designs. Spiral designs. And that is obviously some kind of door. So let's look at the spiral design. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Should we push it? I can't move it. Engraved symbols of water and life. But there's something about that one. Specifically, in the shape of a snake. Hmm. Pull? I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Oil it up! We've got my mayonnaise! Let's use my mayonnaise. Use my oily mayonnaise on this ancient artifact. I don't think that'll work. Ah, oh, it's worth a try. I need to separate the um. I need to separate the mayonnaise from the oil inside. We can use a dirty rag, can't we? Let's use a dirty rag with my mayonnaise. No, that didn't work. It's greasy old towel. Let's try using the greasy old towel on it. That makes more sense. So use. 
wash myself with a rag on a stick. Uh, Gracie, Gracie I'll tell the spiral design. No, it didn't work either. Damn it. But it's something to do with that. You, can, you can't move it. It's all gummed up. Let's see what the uh, animal head is. Look at animal head. Looks like it could use a nose. But what is it? I can't even tell what kind of animal it is. Can't move it. Can't move it. Talk to it. Open it. Give. We need to give it a nose. Looks like it could use a nose. Hmm. Say there. Yes? Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. Professor. Yes? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Hello! <laughs> Hello? Uh, what was the purpose of this chamber? I say... Hello there. You have me there. But what do you say? Mario triggered me. It's all right. <laughs> There's not much more to talk about. Carry on, Dr. Jones. Right, so we have a chamber. We have an animal head, which apparently doesn't have a nose. But we don't have anything to use as a nose that I can think of. Unless we can stick a mayonnaise jar in his face. Let's try that. No. Uh, so he's missing the nose. We have this weird spiral design, which you can apparently pull, but it's all gummed up, so we can't pull it. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Uh, we have mayonnaise, which has got like a separation of oil on it. So I was thinking like maybe we can lube it up a bit, you know. But he doesn't think it'll work. We've got a... Dirty rag, which I don't think we can use either. You can be mayonnaise. Good. Um, nothing else really stands out. Let's see what Sophia's got. Oh, she's got the necklace. Maybe that's something to do with it. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhard and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhard, I'd like to speak to you. In private? Okay. What's Indy gonna do? Is he gonna punch it? Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. So when I went to use the animal head with something, he, he came over here, but I don't know what to do with it. Ah, it's one of those moments where you're stuck. Bewildered. Right, this, I did try the dirty rag. And that didn't work. There's no lid on the mayonnaise. I don't even know why the mayonnaise is relevant here. Also, why would you take a jar of mayonnaise across the world with you? Um... Dossing on a Sunday? Yeah, just dossing around the house, Joe. How's it going? More deeply etched. I'm trying to lube up this thing with mayonnaise. It's not working. Must be the world's greatest mayo. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, not too bad. Everyone's out of the house for a few hours, so I'm taking advantage of that fact. Animal head. 
Do we not have a, hit, a nose for this thing? So I don't think we can do anything here. I think we might be might have exhausted all options. <laughs> lube, yeah, yeah. We've got this this jar of mayonnaise, which is separate. It's all oily, and we're gonna lube up things. But no, it's not working because uh, this this thing on the wall. He said it's all gummed up. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up, so we can't pull it out. I think it's something to do with this door we need to open. But yeah, I don't see anything else here. So that might be all we can do here for now. It's definitely something to do with this animal head though. Hmm. Wait for me, old bean. Oh wait, I wonder if we can... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get out of the him, and I'll try and steal the lamp. She can keep him busy. What's up? Let's try and keep Stoneheart busy again. Stoneheart busy again. Again? He's such a windbag. I got another question for you, Doctor. Right, while he's doing that, I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna go over here and try and pick up this kerosene lamp. Good thing that pest stone hot. Yes! Genius. Right, that's good. I'm going to use that to melt stuff later. So yeah, so I think we've actually done at this temple. I don't think there's anything else we can do here yet. So I'm going to leave. And I think if we go back to Iceland. Oh, she can't, he can't leave without Sophia. Go back to Iceland and melt that thing out of the wall that we want to steal. We're just stealing stuff from everyone, so. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Right, let's go. Oh, he hangs around like a wet fart, doesn't he? Wait for me, old bean. I'm gonna go back to the uh, Iceland now. Damn it, I thought he was going to chuck the lamp. <laughs> it didn't work. Pick up a piece of coal. Oh yeah, you can see, I didn't see the coal before. Pick it up. Oh, nice. Thank you. What am I going to use for the love of coal? Maybe the animal nose? Said it was missing the nose. Maybe the coal will fit. Um, hmm. Let's 
anything else. It's coal chute, furnace. I bet you'd use that in there. It's hot enough already. There's any bit of objects in here. I mean, Carl, you played this before, Carl. So I, I don't mind having hints every so often, but if you if you if you haven't played it before, hint away. That's fine. Uh, but if you have before, let me struggle a little while before you help. <laughs> but yeah, we've been struggling this a little bit, so it's fine. Thank you very much. Let's uh, go back up. Maybe the coal something to that animal head statue was missing a nose. Where have you gotten Joe DiMaggio? Isn't that him from Karate Kid? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I think that the the coal might be something to do with that statue. And I still think there must be a way to set fire to the ice to get the uh, eel out for Costa. He wants he wants an artifact. I'll quickly try it. Let's go back to Tikal and see if there is a way to do what I want to do. Okay, okay, back in the temple. Okay, so there's the, the spiral design that stands out. If I pull it, it says nope. Can't move it. What did it exactly say? Was it push or pull? It was one of something like that. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. So my open ker kerosene lamp. Oh, maybe because it's open now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the hint. Yeah, all right. I get it. I tried using the kerosene lamp on it beforehand. It didn't do anything. Then I realized you can open it and didn't try it again. Noted. <laughs> nice. All right, we can pull this now. Marvelous. Uh, okay, what happened? Spoil designs, that's been pushed in now. Animal heads still not doing anything. Engraved symbols, war and life. The door didn't open though. Is there another one? Need to open the tomb. Oh, that's misleading because there's no. Uh... Wait. Okay. There is nothing called tomb. Adding something to the elephant head. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. There we go. Nice. I didn't see that go in my infantry. My bad. Click. Look at that. Astonishing. Bless my soul, the tomb of Atlantean King. Here's the small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At least I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait. Oh no, he got away. Didn't know the door back there. Okay, let's have a look at this mummy tomb. Who knows, maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Did I see something sparkle in its hand? Yeah, it's a little bead. Let's pick up that little shiny bead. Too bad for Sternheart, he missed the Arach... Ar ar I can't say that word. Whatever that says. Orichil... <laughs> Auriculum, auricul, 
Auric Hal Come. No, that's not how you say it. <laughs> I have one bead. Uh, so we can give the we could use the bead in like the um the necklace, or I guess we take it to Costa, who wants an artifact. This is indeed an artifact, so it's probably what we do. Uh, according to the Fanta archaeology thing of this game, the poor skeleton is indeed the king a uh, king of Atlantis, buried here with the thing the other guy took and a marble. The Fanta and archaeology thing? What's that? Oh, the other, sorry, the other, <laughs> like, did, did Fanta sponsor, like, a, a guide to this or something? What? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Um, so I think we're done here. I will just quickly look at the, uh, dude. No. So we can go back to Costa now and probably give him the bead. I think it'll be... Interesting. Unless you can take the uh, elephant thing. Let's see if we can take it. Uh, pick up. It won't come out. Okay, it's fine. We'll leave it. That shady guy ran away with the... Um, Oh, I think maybe we'll find this corpse like stapled to a wall with an arrow for it or something in true Indiana Jones fashion. But for now, I'm going to go back to the airport and go see Costa and see if he's interested in this bead. Which is in the Azores. Uh, the marble is made of, I can't say that word, part gold, part lava, part of Atlantean metallurgy. Nice. I think they said something about that earlier as well. Let's talk to this dude. Mr. Costa. You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. Bead, you say? A mere bead for this unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. Come back when you've got something. Oh, he wants that eel thing, doesn't he? What an asshole. Um, because I love the old man's brain. <laughs> Reminds me of the old lookout keeper at the beginning of Monkey Island. Um, okay. So whatever we're trying to do is something to do with uh, the eel statue in Iceland. We've hit a dead end here for now because we can't... Well, he, wants, he wants the artifact before he's going to tell us to go to the next location, so... Um, Whatever we need to do is either in Iceland or... Unless we go back to Tikal and find the guy who ran away. Which is possible. He did creep off. I didn't actually try to go to that back wall and see if there was a door. Maybe I should have did that. Oh, he's gone. He, is he frozen to death? Well, that's a bit morbid. He did. Too bad he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. He did manage to expose the eel head, though. So that's pretty cool. Looks like the bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, this is a grim moment. You played this back in the day or more recent? I know, I know they uh, re I think they re-released this on Steam. Probably a talky edition or something. I don't know. Right, let's take the eel figurine. Nice. It's a bronze coil. Um, Immol wants a joke. <laughs> oh, I've done that one before. Uh, what type of tissue can you sleep on? A napkin. That's the joke. 
Well, an Atlantean portable microwave. Indeed. I mean, are we just going to leave this guy here? Can we pick him up? No, we're just going to leave him. I feel we, we can push him. No. <laughs> can we give him a proper burial? I don't think Indiana Jones really gives a shit. I think we're just going to leave him in this cave. All right, let's go back to Costa. Head for the airport. Man, air travel must be really cheap because he's buzzing all over the world all the time in this game. Right, back to the islands. So that ungrateful old bastard will take this off my hands. Just for a bit of knowledge. Mr. Costa. You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but the Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ward Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection. What an asshole. You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Uber, I can't do it German. Fantastic news! Nine, Kurdner at last. See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't she amazing? You fool! You've come back to show me this, this, this prehistoric knickknack. Her doctor, I believe this knickknack, as ye call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed. I see no evidence here of the magical metal Plato cord. Or I can't say that word in German. I can't say it in English. Look here, it's concealed in the base of the small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire. Exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess, we must test. Zap. Mean got Alarm! We've done it. The energy is uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. Oh. I hope they melt. They escaped. Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Schnell. Use your imagination, Kerner. Think big like the Americans. Think of bombs. Bombs. <laughs> Rather good, sir. I don't deserve it, Emil. Uh, hey, that's a limited edition Warhammer miniature from Atlantis. <laughs> okay, uh, this is Barnett College, isn't it? So, why are you dragging me in here? Plato's Lost Dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Um. I ain't gonna say that. You can't go with me. You don't have tenure. Fine. Rub my nose in it. I'll meet you in your office. Say so bravo to my... Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Schnell! 
Um, uh, let's just go to upstairs. It's open now. Last time it was barricaded off. I'm going to do a save point in case we uh, hit any technical issues again like earlier. Okay. We're looking for the, uh, oh shit, what was it called? The ward collection? That's all the damage I did earlier when I fell through the ceiling. Book on dig sites, book on weapons, book on tools, book on pots. I think we're going to have to go up the rope. Or, I can't say that damn word. I need to see how Google says it. Hold on. Sod off. <laughs> oh, it didn't copy. Hold on. Let me do it again. Or a cal... Is like... Or a calcium? No, it's no I in it. Define... Golden coloured bronze oil alloy. But how do you say it? How do you pronounce it? Pronounce. Here we go, this tummy. Orichalcum. Orichalcum. Close enough. Orichalcum. Orichalcum. Uh, let's go to the hatch. Orichalcum. Um, so we've got shells, junk, totem pole, more shells, big crate. I think he said there's any pots in the big crate when I looked earlier. Maybe I did miss the bookshelf. There's some shelves over here. Let's look at these shelves. It's an arrowhead. It's from the Schwarmer collection. I can take that. Where is it? I just saw it. There it is. Arrowhead. Nice. Got it. Got an arrowhead. Now the mayo can be used. Okay. Totem pole. I'm sorry, if you've played this, if you've played this game before, please only give me hints if I'm stuck for a while. <laughs> if you've never played it before, anyone else, feel free to backseat because obviously you know as much as I do. But if you've played it before, let's just um I'll try and work things out for myself for a little while, but if you see me getting lost, I don't mind the odd hint. That's fine with me. Um, so yeah, Tom Paul, don't think there's anything there. The last player book is in here, but there's, I think, three places around the Oh, cool, I like when they do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it could be, it seems to be like when you look at a bookcase, it tells you what collection it's from. Like look at shells. Uh, looks like breadwork from the Phoenix collection. And some of the shells obviously have little items you can pick up. So it's got an arrowhead. I don't see anything else on this one though. Just a big crate. The label says unidentified pot sherds. I can't pick that up. Let's open it. Can't see it open. Can I push it? Oh, of course I can. Dusty old chest. Let's open that. It's locked. Can I pull it out of the cupboard? No, I can't move it. I think it's part of the old ward collection, so this is what we want. Um, you can climb up the ceiling. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go try that. Oh, we mean on the so on long, the big crate. Hey, Bowser. <laughs> Thanks for the luck, snipes. That ward collection is where we want to get in. I, I wonder if I can use the arrowhead as a lockpick. No. Okay. Let's uh, pull this thing up. It won't go any further. It won't go any further. Walk to hole. I can't reach it. So it looks like we need to move something to get up there, but he didn't want to move that thing any further for some reason. Uh, right, if only one of those statues could be lubed and moved. <laughs> all right, all right. Probably the, um, well, the only one that could be interacted with is the uh, totem pole. Let's pull it. The floor isn't slippery enough. That's why I bought mayonnaise with me. <laughs> Gloop. Okay, I think we're looking for a key for that chest. Which is from the ward collection, which is what we need to uh, 
to find. Okay, we're back in the loft, the attic. It's a statue there. Can't take it. I can't pick it up. Why not? Um, and anything in the iron? I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Yes. Open it up. Talk to ashes. Let's pick up the ashes. There might be a key in there. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key. Convenient. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Um, when in doubt, use mayonnaise. Old mayonnaise as well. Not fresh. Okay, I don't think there's anything else up here. I will have a quick look around just to be thorough. Let's have a look in these chests. Can't lift a lid. Oh, it's a shame. Candlestick? Let's take the candlestick. It must be made out of lead. There. Oh, yeah, you moved the candlestick. Okay, now we can open this chest. in here then. I don't want to pick up the chest, I want to pick out the contents of the chest. Let's look at it. Look at chest. It's full of air. Okay. There's nothing in the chest. This is probably all just uh, filler content. We can probably just leave. I like reading. We looked at the statue earlier. A peculiar statue. That's the one where we fell through the hole at the beginning of the game. Some carbon achiever. Yeah, I think we're done up here. Let's uh, go down the uh, trap door. Okay, now we can use this fancy little key on this fancy little box. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato! The Hermocrat Hermocrats. Uh, now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue. Translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought it was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to a long-lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it. That's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy of the ward. Charles Sternhart. That asshole. He's the one who ran away in the temple. London, 1922. Oh, it carries on. It's, it's in shame. I hereby do recant the time and place whereas Critias spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away, or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as 1,000. Socrates, if a kingdom arose on Earth beyond anywhere, then uh, anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. We ought to accept a lesser figure. Okay. So he thinks there's a... F what is it? A, f a fire... All right, Snipes. Have you seen the Disney movie about an ugly DJ in a small plug, uh, a small club somewhere in Alsace? That's terrible. I'm not reading that one. Um, let me do a different one. Oh yeah, I stopped looking for my watch. I just couldn't find the time. That's Some of these the are terrible. Dog. Some of these are absolutely terrible. I don't even get them when I'm reading them. Okay. You didn't do it. Yeah, well done. You withheld yourself. Oh wait, you did do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. There's some. That's the rope you climb down. Let's keep it hold. Done the shelves. Done the big crate. Done the dusty old chest. Let's go down the hole. I think we need to go talk to Sophia and then we'll find out our next plan of attack. Let's make sure there's no more items in here before we go.
Akshani collection. Anything down here? Complete the first part. Oh, sweet. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the office and talk to um, Sophia, and there'll be some new locations. <laughs> hey, Jog. Welcome in. Um, yeah, let's go to the uh, office, which is this way. Finding the lost Plato book on Atlantis. Yeah, the first part. Sweet. Hey, welcome in. Did some DOS games this afternoon. It's a bit different for me. Now you must willingly or not decide how to embark on the search of Atlantis. Beating those Germans, yeah? Right, okay. Let's do a save. I got it! I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I've read this. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Isn't it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. You mean your old pal, Nur Absal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer is in the book, not out of space. So we got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Uh, what's this? Will you take the redhead with you, or will you go alone, punching everyone? <laughs> Doss is life. I'll take her with her. I'll take her with her, probably. And we'll go it alone without punching... I'll, I'll punch everyone regardless, I think. Sounds like the right thing to do. Yeah, real DOS. We're playing on Unreal Mode DOS on the Windows 98 PC I've got. I'll be right. And uh, real MT32 as well today. My, well, it's not an MT32. It's an MT100, which is the MT32 with a built-in like floppy drive. The tabletop edition. Um, but it's the same. same sound, sounds the same. Uh, Pluto's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Pluto is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Enough of your fantasies, I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. <laughs> the second part is playable Team Fists or Logic. And uh, Snipe says, Redheads, why does it got to be Redheads? Choose your words carefully, Snipes, considering my wife and children are all Redheads. <laughs> um... Long, short, or medium in terms of time, Pilly? I don't know. I like logic. I like doing logic y stuff rather than punching. When I play DD, it's always logic puzzles when possible. Um, I'm going to click that, but I've forgotten how to pronounce it already, even though I looked at it a little while ago. Spooky? Haven't you learned anything? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it would be one of the free stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers. Haven't we talked to her enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. Logic of out the girl and medium length. Does this game have replay value then? It's pretty uh, different for this era. Um... 
How will I find Trottian Aljabar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you your fortune. We'll just see how it goes. I'll just do whatever dialogues take my fancy. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake. I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I never could follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. So I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. Okay. That's the choice then you're on about. Locations vary, but in the end you get Atlantis. No. Alright, sweet. I, I agree with her. I think I'm going to tackle this alone. And yeah, Jones is going to go, I'd rather tackle this with you. What are you talking about? Yeah, we'll go, on, we'll, we'll go for it alone. I understand. Stay in touch. Take care of yourself. Don't talk to strange Nazis. So long, Indy. 